Tonight, we are learning more about a high school student shot and killed over the weekend on Indy's east side. 17-year-old James Johnson III was shot inside a home while hanging out with his friends. Fox 59's Jesse Wells spoke with his parents today and learned more about the legacy that he leaves behind. Police are still investigating exactly what led to the deadly shooting here at the home behind me. At the same time, friends and family of that 17-year-old victim describe him as an energetic and enterprising young man. Late Saturday night, here inside a home in Irvington, a 17-year-old young man was shot and later died at the hospital. We should not be here outliving our son. We, we would have never in a million years expected it, especially with him being with friends. So it just goes to show you that anything can happen when you've got uh, weapons around. James Johnson II takes pride in the legacy his son, James Johnson III, leaves behind. I couldn't have asked for a better son. I just wish that, you know, I, I wish that we were able to see him as a grown man because we all put so much into him. The teen was affectionately known as the 317 Fruit Man because he sold fruit to underserved and underprivileged communities. He wanted to be an entrepreneur and these past few years he's really been in the lane of studying food science. I hope he's remembered for the charismatic young man with a smile on his face that lights up a room. While police won't confirm a motive for the shooting, some witnesses claim it was an accident. James's family says he was simply hanging out with friends, but they still don't know why he was killed. He was in a place that he felt he should have been safe in. Um, he was in a place where he would have never expected his life to be taken. He was one of those kids that you're a better man because of him. James's basketball coach here at Purdue Polytechnic praised the energy and effort the teen always brought to practice and says the city would be a better place with more young men like James. You chew a kid like James out and you feel afterwards you'd be like, man, I love that kid. Basketball is just a tool to build community. And uh, so we have a community of guys that hurt because they miss the brother. Finally, no arrests have yet been made in this case. As always, anyone with information can still contact either IMPD's Homicide Office or Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Absolutely.